Welcome to Winter Harbor Gardening. You can see the base just outside, but here the hostess has a beautiful garden. A beautiful border of flowers inviting all the beautiful butterflies and bugs beneficial to the garden. She has wonderful tomatoes. You zoom in on them. Some of them are ripening. See, lovely. These are sun golds. We've been enjoying them all week. They're doing pretty well considering the places are staying all relatively cold. And quite a few of them here. She just cleaned out this pot and she planted some buckwheat renewing the soil and augmenting it. Buckwheat is really beneficial to the soil, produces nitrogen. She has freshly planted two rows of salads. Very delicious. Some oriental greens on the back. Don't know if you can see it. There are some mustard greens and some Mizuna. These beautiful flowers on this side. Two tall things of beans. These are red runner beans. You can see deer ate some of them, but they didn't each eat the top. You go around the garden, so you can see it all. Things lovely. Beautiful colors. She has some onions planted here too. Pretty good size. These are leeks. One of her mustards went to seed. This gorgeous curly parsley. Say hello to Alice. Hi, beautiful. Hi. She's a good girl. She's keeping us company here. So this is cilantro that bolted going to seed. You can see the leaf. The birds obviously, uh, the bees obviously love it. Regular parsley. A lot of regular parsley. And there are some really nice herbs planted. This is a rosemary right next to salads. Her zucchinis still blooming, still producing. There are a couple of zucchinis and squash in here. You can see some of them do have zucchinis. Cucumbers still producing. Very lovely. You can see scarlet runner beans. And they're beautiful. They are just gorgeous. Carrots. Lovely, lovely carrots. You can see how beautiful they are. They're here. The carrots are here. See? Gorgeous whole lot of beets. As I said, it's much cooler here. It's, it was only 45 degrees this morning and we're in the first week of September. So I, I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed with soil gardening. Some of the Mizunas and all salad that she's been eating. And again, here she planted a lot of different things to augment the soil. But I really want to highlight something else. Because she's right next to the sea. Do you see this? This is seaweed. Here, you can see it closer. 
it breaks down into smallest pieces and she can till it under so she augments it for the perfect fertilizer by tilling it under it provides all the nitrogen the plants need its soil is very sandy so it needs a lot of manure and a lot of compost but she's been doing fantastic work with this so beautiful It's not enough time to for buckwheat to wake, wake up. She only planted it on Wednesday. But you can see how beautiful it is. And then on the back, on the back side you can see she has some apple trees. And some roses. Wild roses. Coming closer. These are her beautiful apples, red and green apples, and these are wild roses. We call them, them Shipshen. They're beautiful. You can make rose jelly out of these, but they are pretty. And interestingly enough, this variety is white. smell is fantastic. I wish you could be here to smell it. The one variety next to it, you can see the color is hot pink. Beautiful. Fantastic job.